This video is about a recent work on finding precursors to drop-in airspeed during a flight's takeoff. My name is Vijay Janaki Raman and this work was done at the Data Sciences Group at NASA Ames Research Center. What you just saw is a flight crash because of a stop. What appears to have happened is that the airplane tried to gain altitude at a faster rate than normal. In a typical climb, the flight pitches up to increase the angle of attack, which forces the surrounding air to create lift. However, if the angle of attack is increased beyond its critical value, the airflow around the wings gets separated, thereby reducing the ability of the airplane to generate lift. Without sufficient lift, the airplane loses its ability to fly and drops under the influence of gravity. This condition is referred to as a stop. So what happens during a stall? The angle of attack is sensed and a stall warning is given. However, this is reactive, meaning an alert is generated after the fact. Although such systems alert when the airplane is about to stall, they rarely give insights about why the airplane is stalling and what the crew should be doing to prevent the stall. Thus, current research activities are focused more on better detection and guidance on recording from a stall. Much of this work is based on physics and simulations. A stall may be caused by a combination of factors such as human errors, system failure, weather effects and operational factors. Many of these are not easy to capture using physics. However, rich data is being collected on board that contains most of these real-world effects. By mining the data, we may be able to answer questions on what caused the stall and how it may be corrected. Such an approach would be complementary to current physics-based systems. In this work, we consider the drop-in airspeed events as the target event and mine for precursors to these events. During a normal takeoff, the airspeed has an increasing trend as shown in the figure. However, for some flights, the airspeed drops, shown by black lines in the figure. If the drop in airspeed is sustained for at least 20 knots, then we flag an ADA event. The ADA event is a high risk factor, which left uncorrected may lead to a stop. So our goal is to find precursors to the ADA events using data. We consider the data from an airline that has been de-identified. The data was recorded as part of the FOCMA program and includes more than 350 time series variables measured on board. For this study, we considered about 70,000 takeoffs, out of which about 20,000 flights had a drop in airspeed. Each flight is a multidimensional time series, and we look for precursors in the data that lead up to the drop in airspeed. We apply a recently developed algorithm called ADOPT to detect precursors to the drop in airspeed. ADOPT involves building an expert model using reinforcement learning and using the expert model to check if a time series event is a precursor or not. Our method achieves about 60 to 95% accuracy in predicting the drop in airspeed at various points during the flight. Some of the precursors that we found include a bad headwind, improper management of pitch, possible human errors in setting speed reference, and so on. We have made some interesting observations on this novel application. Please refer to the full paper at the conference for a detailed discussion of the topics.